we're live. At this time, a little sergeant start recordings. According to the PC, it started. According to the to the cloud started, live stream looked good as well. Backup is rolling. Thank you. Good morning and welcome to today's remote New York City Council vote for the Committee on Public Safety. At this time, will all panelists please turn on their video for verification purposes. And to minimize disruptions, please place all electronic devices to vibrate or silent mode. Thank you so much, uh, Chair. We're ready to begin. Good morning. I'm Council Member Adrian Adams of the 28th District in Queens, and I'm the Chair of the Committee on Public Safety. I want to thank the members of the Public Safety Committee who are here today Council Members Holden, Powers, Riley, Brannon, and Cabrera for the moment. This morning, we'll be voting on proposed introduction number 1392A in relation to requiring district attorneys to report on criminal prosecutions. The bill is sponsored by Speaker Corey Johnson and council members Levine, Kalos, and Rosenthal. Currently, there are no requirements that the city's district attorneys conduct, uh, that the city's district attorneys conduct any public reporting on office function. Although some local DAs issue periodic reports, there is no uniformity in such reporting and very little data is publicly released regarding prosecutorial conduct. As a result, there is a significant lack of transparency regarding prosecutorial decision-making in a matter that limits effective oversight of DAs and hinders public trust in the criminal justice process. Intending to provide increased transparency of procedural decision-making, this bill requires the city's district attorney's offices to report on the basic functioning of their offices. These annual reports of which, which would be posted publicly would require each office to release various data points related to decision-making at various stages of a criminal case, such as data on decisions to prosecute or dismiss a case following arrest, bail recommendations, and average length of a case before a disposition. The report also requires the numbers to be disaggregated by offense and the race, gender, and age of the defendant. This bill would take effect immediately but to permit each of the offices to develop the technological capacities to produce these reports, the first report would not be required until 2024. Thank you to the speaker for supporting this important legislation, which will bring much needed transparency to our criminal justice system. We will now proceed with the vote. We have also been joined by council member Yeager. Thank you. Good morning, uh, William Martin, committee clerk, roll call vote committee on public safety on introduction 1392, Chair Adams. I vote aye. Cabrera. Aye. Brannon. Aye. Holden. Permission to explain my vote? Permission granted. Um, I heard that all five district attorneys are against this bill, and it's it's asking a lot of these offices. And even with an effective uh, the uh, two two years be, uh, from becoming law, this does not come with additional funding for our DAs, which are totally un underfunded. I also understand that some of the information mandated in this bill is not collected by the DAs themselves, and, and that they receive this data from other sources that they cannot vouch for. So uh, I think accountability and transparency is essential. And I think the DAs agree with this. However, with the issues of unreliable data, a lack of funding for the DAs to update their case management system. Um, and some DAs are also saying that this bill is potentially unconstitutional. So um, I will be voting no on intro 1392A. Thank you, Chair. Thank you, Council Member Holden. Thank you. Council Member Powers. I vote aye. Thank you. Riley. I vote aye. Thank you. One moment, please.
Charles, my apologies. We need to hold for a moment. Thank you for your patience. Uh, Council Member Gibson. Are we ready to vote? Yes, Council Member. Okay, thank you. So I uh, am going to be voting aye, but I wanna put on record, I understand that there is a two year period for compliance for this DA reporting bill. I just hope that the next council and the administration provides the funding that is necessary to the DA's office. When I chaired this committee on public safety, we made sure that the underfunded offices of Bronx County and Richmond County were able to get more money. And now with us moving forward, we have to make sure that if we talk about compliance for legislation, that these offices have the 21st century technology that they rightfully deserve. We cannot ask them to comply with legislation if they have an inability to do so. So I wanna make sure I go on record in ensuring that moving forward, there is sufficient funding given to all five DA's offices and the special narcotics prosecutor to make sure that they have up-to-date technology and equipment so they can really provide the services that are necessary from all of our district attorneys. So I will be voting aye and wanna make sure that goes on the record. Thank you, Madam Chair. Thank you, Council Member Gibson, duly noted. Thank you very much. Thank you, Council Member Menchaca. I vote aye on all. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, by a vote of seven in the affirmative, one in the negative, and no abstentions, the item has been adopted by the committee. Uh, Madam Chair, we are still awaiting a few more members. Did we get Council Member Yeager's vote? Uh, Council Member Yeager is not on committee. Okay. All right. Thank you very much. The vote is open. Yes.
Good morning, Council Member Rodriguez. Good morning. Uh, you can vote whenever you're ready, sir. I vote aye. Thank you. Thanks. Vote is currently at eight in the affirmative, one in the negative, no abstentions. Uh, Madam Chair, we still have another member outstanding. Okay, we're gonna give that member three minutes. We have another uh, committee coming in here for their vote. Okay, Mr. Clerk, we are going to adjourn. Sure, okay, so final vote on the Committee on Public Safety, introduction 1392 is adopted, eight in the affirmative, one in the negative and no abstentions. Thank you very much. Thank you to all of my colleagues for being here this morning for this vote. This meeting is 